I built a six-figure digital marketing agency in less than 12 months all from my bedroom. I'm a normal guy. I'm here in my mama's bedroom or mama's house. This is my be my room. And I built my entire business sitting in this very chair using this exact uh, computer that I'm using. So recently on January 10th, about five days ago, I posted a, you know, a piece of content on in the ClickFunnels private group here. And it got a lot of traction it got a lot of engagement i think it got you know 296 likes including mine um 101 comments and three shares and i guess so many people just either resonated with my story or was you know inspired in some kind of way by my story um you know whether they're just starting out in their journey or maybe they're already in their journey but they're struggling to get this thing going and you know i thought that if i posted this little story of how i was able the things I've learned during my 12 month journey on how I was able to build a six figure digital marketing agency off of my bedroom. Um, I thought that I would be able to help someone, inspire someone. Maybe, you know, if I was able to drop a couple of tips or something like that, you know, someone could get motivated and then, you know, find some success from that. So I wanted to create this video to kind of go more in depth with my story and, you know, the things that I, dropped in that post i want to explain a little bit more and go go more into detail so hopefully that will help you guys out um for those of you you know who don't believe me and you know this this, this could be just words and a lot of you know there are i know there are a lot of internet online marketers out there who regurgitate a lot of information and you know the photoshop i don't know but <clears throat> i'll go ahead and i'll go into my stripe account real quick here now i started my business in november of 2018 2019 was when i went through the entire journey the struggles the success and everything like that and i wasn't able to build the six-figure agency um 10k a month income a month profit until November. So I'm going to go ahead. I pulled up my income here, which is about in November, which is when it started. Now, leading up to November, if you guys watched my other video on how, you know, I tracked how much I was making each month, um, you know, I wasn't making zero, but I'm just saying my first 10K month was actually, it actually came in, in the month of November. So in the month of no December here, December 1st to 31st, we brought in about $12,000 um, in revenue and then um that's the month of december the month of november which is the month before that we had brought in about fourteen thousand dollars in revenue and that was because i believe that month i had just rolled out my courses um and then so people were hopping into my courses and i think that's why my um my revenue jumped about two thousand so that's that's the difference between November and December. However, I am, you know, even though it did take a little bit of a decline in December, um, I'm still very happy with the income. You know, I'm still very excited. Um, it's, you know, halfway through the month of January. We're looking at another 12K month in profit. So that is great news. Um, what else do I need to share about my my income here? So December, we did 12K. Month of November, we did 14K. Uh, January, we're going to be around about 12K again, it looks like, 12, 13K. We'll see how it plays out at the end of the month. Um, but let's go ahead and jump right back into the story because that's what we are here for. This is what this video is intended for. So as many of you guys may know, um, I don't have any marketing degree, no experience or credibility in digital marketing, no business background, and I just had a lot of hunger when and doing it, whatever it takes to make this happen. So going into this, I had zero experience um, in digital marketing. I started at zero dollars, just like yourself, just like every anybody else in their you know rented house, room, apartment, mama's house, basement, um, closet, wherever you guys are at. Um, that's where I started. This is where I'm still at. So. Nothing much has changed besides my, besides more freedom, I would say. Um, and here were just some things that I've learned during that 12 month journey. So hopefully you guys can take these tips, use it for yourself and, you know, run with it. So that the very beginning of my journey, it is so important that you find a mentor that is doing exactly what you are looking to do. Uh, make sure that this mentor is, 
you know, mentor or coach, because some people like to say that mentor is, you know, they teach for free course, uh, coach is they charge for their time. So either find a mentor or a coach that is doing what you are looking to do and make sure that they are successful at it. Make sure they are proven, um, you know, with the results. And those are the results that you are looking to get this, the exact results that you're looking to get. Okay. So that's really important. Um, there's a lot of gurus out there on the internet that prove that they know what they're doing, but they're just taking information and then they're just, you know, reusing that. So that's why there's so many people talking about this topic on YouTube. Um, so that's like the number one thing. That's how I was able to cut my learning curve from years, um, you know, possibly thousands and thousands of dollars. Um, and that was, you know, cut all in about 12 months. So in about, it was really about eight months when I was starting to, you know, have my income about at 6K, 6K-ish uh, profit a month. But, you know, if I, if it wasn't for like a mentor, I would still be so lost. I would have no guidance. Um, I wouldn't know what I'm doing, you know? So it's really important that you have some type of mentor, some type of coach on your side that guides you in the right direction, that is there to answer your questions, uh, gives you personal attention, one-on-one, -on -one, whenever you have something help, you run into some kind of obstacle, that coach, that mentor is there to guide you um, through your obstacle. All right. So the second tip here is you got to be willing to not only learn as much as you can, but also put those things into action that is so important you can know you could know nothing at all but if you're putting in action at least you're moving the needle there's people that have reached out to me and they said jordan you know i've been you know reading learning about digital marketing um, following gurus and things like that for the past six months but they haven't put in any work no action and so that is why they are still at square one when i started this mind you zero experience zero you know, knowledge about anything, right? I just put in action. I right, got myself a mentor, learn what I needed to learn, start putting the action and then learn along the way. That is so important is that you learn along the way. But the most important thing is you need to put in the action. So if you combine the most important piece, which is the action with the willingness to learn as much as possible. I mean, you want to be an expert, right? So in order to do that, you have to be curious. You got to ask questions. How do I do that? How do I make that better? Um, and just, like I said, be willing to learn everything and as much as possible within your, your space, right? You want to become an expert and you want to know what you're talking about when you are providing your services to clients who are going to pay you a lot of money for your services. So you got to know what you you know, you got to know what you're talking about, learn as much as possible. Now, here is a very important piece of gem that I want to discuss with you here. So, it says here, you can plan all you want and execute everything you've learned, put into action. You will still run into obstacles. And people tend to quit somewhere along their journey as the obstacles become more difficult. Those who stick with the journey will eventually find a way. And what I mean by this is that you can learn all you want. You can have the best mentor, the best coach on your side. You can put in all the action, right? You plan everything out. It's a perfect plan. You're, you're, you're putting in crazy amount of action, you know, 40-hour work weeks, 60-hour work weeks. I've done 70 to 80-hour work weeks right here in my room, Um you will still run into obstacles. You will find yourself, you know, frustrated. Uh, you will go through the struggles. Everyone goes through it in some point, some way, um, no matter what, all right? So it is so important. And as you get deeper into your journey, your obstacles are going to be more and more difficult. I'm telling you guys that right now, that that is what you're going to face and that is what you should expect. You know, at the beginning of the journey, you're going to face small obstacles, little easy, difficult things. Um, such as how to start up a Facebook page, you know, how to start building landing pages or something like that. Those are easy obstacles that you can just overcome. There's going to be coming down the lines where, you know, clients aren't happy with you. How do you produce results? How do you get clients? How do you get better results for clients? How do you streamline things? How do you automate things? Things are going to be more difficult as you go down the journey. But the people who stick around the longest, will eventually find a way to figure out how to get through those obstacles. Most people, 9% of people are going to quit along the journey. When things start getting tough, things start getting a little hard, 
they're going to start quitting. And that's going to, you know, separate you from all those other people who are quitting along their journey, somewhere along their journey. So it's so important that you find a way, you stick with the journey, you trust the process, and, you know, you just find a way because that's what I did, right? I had the coach, I had the t courses, I had mentors, I learned everything, I'm putting tons of action in. Um, and I was still finding myself, you know, not knowing there were some parts where, you know, I was lost, confused, and the struggle was there, right? So you will go through that. Just expect that it's going to happen and it's totally normal. All right. So, but this next tip right here is kind of in conjunction with my last tip right here. You throw everything at the wall and see what sticks. You need to try everything. You need to test everything, see what works, and then double down on that. Repeat this process until you have a winning formula. So when when I started out, as you, you know, I like I said, I had no experience. I didn't know what I was doing. So I was just like, hey, let's just try everything. You know, I've learned everything. I'm just going to try everything that I've learned. And then whatever doesn't work, we're going to go ahead and not do that anymore. And then whatever works, we're going to take that and double down on those things that worked because it's working, right? That only makes sense. If it's working, we want to put more efforts into whatever's working. And then we keep testing on new things and then keep finding new things that are, that are working, right? So that's what I did. And that's when I was doing, you know, crazy hours in my bedroom. I barely ate. I barely didn't leave the house. I didn't, you know, work out in the morning or anything like that. All I did was wake up, you know, brush my teeth and then go back into my room. And I was learning, either learning something new or testing something new. And even when I was eating, I would have, you know, plate of food. I was eating and learning at the same time. So I had no time to waste it. I just spent, you know, pretty much all day inside my room trying to learn as much as possible or trying to do as much as possible and trying to game plan what I'm going to do next. So that is so important, right? If you, if, you, if you don't know what you're doing, try everything. Try everything and see what works and then double down on what works, okay? Um, you know, when you're a lot of people are starting out, they don't know what they're doing, so all they do is complain, right? They're going to complain, oh, I don't know what I'm doing. They're asking a bunch of people, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm lost. I'm confused. They're waiting for answers. They're waiting for someone to magically give them the answer when, you know, you're the answer. You just got to go and do it. Go and make things happen, you know. Um, test everything and see what works, all right? So once you tested everything or, you know, you're, you have this process of testing and finding winning stuff, you're going to start finding what works, right? You want to take what that what works, which is your winning formula, and turn that into a system, right? So let's say, uh, you know, you are, you know, you find you're, you're prospecting for clients, you know, you're trying a bunch of different methods prospecting and trying to get clients, and you find one prospecting method, you know, one message that you're sending out, it really you know, it's getting great responses with potential clients, go ahead and automate that, you know, use that and find some type of automation tool, um, hire a VA or something like that, and then automate that system, right? So that way you don't have to spend more, much any more time working in that system, you know, manually typing out the message, manually sending out the message and things like that. Automate that. So that way you can put your time and effort into finding new winning formulas because that is so important. That's how you're able to scale your agency. If you're spending all your energy, your time, your thoughts, your brain power into manually doing things, then you're not going to have brain power, time, and energy into producing new stuff that's going to take your agency, your company to grow. So it's so important that you you know take your winning formulas, create a system, automate it, and you know that this system you're, you know, able to put in $1, get out $2 or, you know, send out, I don't know, a thousand messages and get back 10 replies or something like that, right? So that's your system. That's your formula right there. And then you want to keep continuing to learn, um, find new formulas and build new systems. And then this last tip right here is that you need to learn to delegate and eliminate yourself as much as possible from your business. I don't mean you need to completely eliminate yourself where you know, you're know you no longer part of your company. That's not what I mean. Um, but, you know, when I've, you know, I had a, I had a tough time learning this just because, you know, I was new to business. I was a rookie. I didn't have big understandings of how to grow a business really. So I had a lot of trust issues when it came to relying on other people to do certain tasks for me um, just because I was a rookie in business. 
as soon as I, I was able to find the right people and place them in the right positions to succeed what they're good at, my business exploded and scaled to not only a six-figure bi agency business, but also bringing in 10K a month, uh, to over $10,000 a month in profit. So it's super important that you learn to find the right people to delegate to and then go ahead and use that as basically how you automate your systems and your your um yeah, you pretty much your systems and things like that. And that's why and that's how you're going to be able to use that all your time and stuff like that to manage and grow your business instead of working in your business. The goal of business is to work on your business, not in your business because if you're working on your business, you're you know, you're spending time on growing it, you know, making things easier for everybody, optimizing, getting better results for your company, for your client's company, whatever it is. Um and that's how you do that. So if you're not delegating, you're working inside your business, you know, you're spending 40, 60 hours on doing everything manually, you know, getting results for your clients, you're delivering the service, you're sending out emails, you're doing all of that, you're not going to have energy and the brain power to focus on growth. You know, that's the reason why the most successful people in the world uh, you know, they wear the same exact outfit or they, ve they wear very simple outfit. Not a lot, whole, not a whole lot of thought goes into the outfit. And the reason for that is because they want to save, you know, their brain power, I believe is uh, glycogen, glucose or something like that. But you have a certain amount of this thing in your, in your head. It's a chemical. I think it's glucose or glyco glycogen. I forget. But you have a certain amount of that and... You know, you want to save as much of that towards the difficult tasks, you know, the difficult thoughts, the game plan. You know, how am I going to grow the agency? How do I make things easier? How do I get better results? You want to save your brain power for that. You know, you don't want to be thinking about, oh, what should I eat today? What should I eat later? Uh, what should I wear today? What should I wear this weekend? What should I do today? What should I do this weekend? You know, those thoughts take away energy, believe it or not. But those take energy to come up with those thoughts. So, Delegate and, you know, focus on what matters. That's the most important thing, right? You want to focus on what matters, what's going to keep the the, um, the needle moving, what's going to keep the ball rolling, what's going to get that snowball effect. You want to be thinking about those things. You don't want to think about, you know, the little tasks, the little, the little stuff, right? Because those stuff, you want to build it once and you want to automate it. And then you want to focus on the bigger picture, right? So that's, you know, my, my tip. And it seemed like, a lot of people, you know, enjoyed the tips. This is a picture of me and Russell Brunson. I don't know why some people thought it was photoshopped. I don't even know how to photoshop that well, as you could tell from my um, YouTube thumbnails. But um, I did catch Russell Brunson at the, the uh, 10X Growth Con here last February in 2019 at the 10X Growth Con. I saw him real quick and I was like, hey, yo, Russell, take a picture. And he was nice enough to do so. But, you know, a lot of people, you know, thought, you know, it was a it was a good, good, some good tips, and I hopefully it was helpful to you. Um, you know, there were so, you know, this twelve month journey it definitely wasn't easy. I will say, um, I definitely d believe that I did grow this agency fairly pretty quickly. I mean, within twelve months. I mean, you know, within I think four or five months in, I was already seeing a little bit of success. You know, I landed my first client, things like that. About six to eight months in, that's when you know I got a good amount of clients coming in, and then at the 12 month in November from November 2018 to November 2019 that's when I had my first hit my first 10k a month um, I think we like I said we saw like fourteen thousand dollars in revenue um, on the on my 12 month anniversary and being in business right so that's crazy but you know it wasn't that easy to be honest with you guys like I said here there were so many times I wanted to quit during my 12 month journey um, I was already looking up jobs on Craigslist and I was just scrolling through the jobs and I was just like wow. I do not want to go work for, you know, $14, $15 an hour doing, you know, sitting at a desk or something all day and who knows what I'm they'll have me do. Um, so that really scared me. <laughs> you know, I thought to myself there was no way I wanted to go back to a 9 to 5. And that, you know, just the thought of me, you know, having to show up at like 8 a.m., waking up at 6, 7 a.m. or whatever, it, it really scared me. So I, I, I definitely didn't want to do that. I didn't want to work, go wake up, get there at 8, 9, work till 5, 6, whatever it is. Um, and, you know, that, 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 that thought, that picture, it was a big fear of mine. And I was willing to do whatever it took to, to not have to go through that. So 
Um, that was one of the best decisions I've made. And, you know, I'm not where I want to be yet, but at least I finally know that I'm on the right path. So right now, you know, in the year of 2020, it, I believe it's going to be a big year um, just because I'm on the right path and I'm able to teach other students how to be on the right path, get them on the right path and guide them through, you know, their obstacles and things like that. And, you know, I'm really trying to help students get to where I am as well. Um, but this year, you know, I'm focusing on on scaling the business, um, you know, growing my my uh, my course, my coaching program. Uh, those are the things I'm focused on right now. And, you know, just keep my clients happy and keep that. St I'm still having that digital marketing agency for my clients running. Um, but now I'm introducing my coaching program. Uh, and that's something I want to grow as well. So nonetheless, hopefully this video was helpful to you. Hopefully this, you know, the things I've broken down to you, uh, it makes sense and, you know, it some way somehow resonates with you. And you can take these ideas and tips and wherever you're at in your journey, I hope that you will find a way and, you know, be successful with it because it's so, it's, 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 ah, man, it's so great. It's, it's great to go from zero, from where you, you know, you're looking so far ahead and that's where I want to be to finally being there. And now, you know, you know, you feel like you're on the right path now. And you know, from here, it's just, you're focusing on growth. That's pretty much, um, 2020 for me is just focusing on growth. Um, but if you guys want to learn more about, you know, joining my private Facebook group, my courses and all that, it's, it should be all, the link should all be in the description below. Uh, make sure you follow this channel. Give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe. Turn on the notification bell because I'm dropping a lot of good stuff, a lot of good content, a lot of things that you're going to be able to learn to grow your business, your agency. I really appreciate it. All, you know, the buttons all below and stuff like that. And I'll see y'all in the next video. All right. Peace.